In this video, I'm going to take you through the Tesla Powerwall app because I believe I found some anomalies in the data sets for the day by day readings for peak and off peak and all day. Yeah, stay tuned. Hi, John Tisbury here. If this is your first time here and you're interested in Tesla Powerwall, Solar PV, Tesla Model 3, Hyundai Kona EV, all that kind of stuff, then consider subscribing, hit the notification bell icon to be notified of new updates as and when I upload them. As I said in the intro, in this video, I'm going to take you through the Tesla Powerwall app and look at some of the data sets because I believe I've found some anomalies in the data and I'm interested in knowing if anybody else has also found similar spurious results within the data. So I'll take you through what I've found and um, perhaps you could comment below if you're on a similar um, setup as me and have found the same results. So what is the setup? Well, it's uh, Tesla Powerwall 2. It's set to advanced time-based control and we're set to cost saving. And we have got a setting and I'll bring them up on screen so you can see a peak and off peak setting. So uh, just go into the app, bring that up, oh, I'm on jump, customize, edit price schedule. So currently our off peak is between 12.30 and 4.30 in the morning, four hour block. And then our peak is from 4.30 through to 12.30. And that's the same throughout the week, whether it's midweek or weekends. We have had that set up since uh, we moved across to Octopus Energy on the GO tariff and had a smart meter installed to take advantage of that um, dual rate. And initially the power wall was set to cost saving during the summer. I didn't really notice um, any difference on that because it was just due to cost saving there was no split of the data it's only when I went to time-based control that it then allowed me to have data sets so when I go into the um, power flow and into the graph at the top of the energy usage and if I look by day so for instance let's talk about yesterday which is the 4th of November mm. Right, well this is interesting. I'm editing this video and uh, I've cut into it to <laughs> give you an update because when I was recording this on the 5th of November, I forgot to separately record the uh, Tesla Powerwall app via screen recording. So I thought, oh well no problem, um, I'm editing it today, which is Saturday, and I thought, well I'll record it then and just drop it in. Absolutely fine. However, I've come to look at the data and the data that I was looking at and the example that I'm just about to go into from the 4th of November, when I look at it in the app now, it's actually showing as correct. And you've only got my word to take for that because I can't show you the empirical evidence and I don't really understand why. I know that as you get later in, the more data you get, you get towards the end of the week, and then it corrects itself. And I mentioned that in the video, but I'm not sure why it is now showing as correct. And the only thing I could put it down to is the rate change that I did when I went to edit the the uh, the pricing schedule. Because uh, let me show you. Hold up. Let's bring it up on screen. Let's put you down there for a minute. There we go. So what I went in to do um, is I went in to edit the pricing schedule and uh, hold on a minute, just adjust you a bit better. There we go. I went in to uh, um, edit the pricing schedule and I then had um, sort of a before and after, and I'll bring those up on screen so you can have a look at them. So before I had um, this setup, which is the, the, the sort of standard one um, in terms of the off-peak and peak, and then I edited them because there was like 
24 and a half hours. There was an extra 30 minutes which sort of rolled over. So I thought that was confusing the app. So I moved that into um, a shoulder period on the uh, edit price option within the customize. And um, that all looked fine. And when I looked at the app, looking at the data for those the day that I changed it, and that was on the 5th of November I changed it. You'll see here I've got on my data set, I've got all day, I've got peak, I've got partial peak, which is the shoulder period, and then I've got off peak. And that's exhibiting for the 5th of November, and then also for the, is it the right day? For the 6th of November, it's also showing that partial peak uh, banding. So I've got four um, sets of data. Interestingly, there is no difference in the data set between partial peak and off peak. It's a duplication of the two, um, which is a little bit interesting. So I have, for all intents and purposes, disregarded them. That was on the, the day I set it up. There we go. On the 5th of November, it's exactly the same, partial peak and peak, the, the numbers are duplicated. However, when it goes to the 6th of November, partial peak and off peak are showing different values. So it's obviously picked that up as a, a banding change. However, when I go to the 7th of November, the Thursday, although I haven't changed anything in the app, it now only shows me peak and off peak. So <laughs> I don't really know. Um, so yeah, uh, the, the other thing as well I have noticed is that the figures are all correct now. Um, so I don't know if I've managed to, by jiggery pokery, sort of fix it by default and not really understand um, why or how, um, but it is actually showing the correct data sets. So I'll be interested to see what other people um, have. So back to the video. If I look at just what we're taking from the grid, just look at one set of data. And from that, I can see the, the grid at the top or the chart, graph, whatever you want to call it up at the top. And then underneath you scroll down, you've got all day, you've got peak and you've got off peak and there's data sets for each one of those um, criteria. So if I look at all day from the grid, it's saying that we pulled in 17.5. Uh, I've got a laptop here with Excel open, so I'm just plugging the data in here while we chat. So all day I've pulled 17.5, uh, just pop that in there. And then peak, I used 9.8 from the grid. So 9.8. And then off peak, used 19.2 those two come together to 29 kilowatts so I would suspect suspect expect even might suspect but I would expect the all day value to be 29 kilowatts but it's not it's 17.5 so there's 11 and a half kilowatts um, awry there somewhere and if I look at Sunday 3rd of November same scenario so all day we used 10.8 from the grid 10.8 from the grid oh wrong figure john wrong place 10.8 from the grid there we go. <laughs> and then during peak we used a kilowatt from the grid and it must have been a sunny day and the power wall would have been fully charged because at off peak we used 24 kilowatts so that means 25 kilowatts have used if I total peak and off peak together, whereas all day is saying we use 10.8. So there's 14.2 kilowatts in the ether somewhere, not showing up on the app. And it's like that if you look at any day in isolation. What is interesting though, and I've only just stumbled upon this, when I was doing the research, is that if you then start pulling the data together and consolidating it and look at a week's worth of data, it disappears that anomaly. So 
So it must be just the daily reporting that's at, um, at fault. So for instance, if we look at a week, let's look at last week. So 28th of October through to the 3rd of November inclusive. All week from the grid, we did a, we pulled 176 kilowatts. At peak, we used 28.9 from the grid. And now off peak, 147. Which comes out at 175.9 and rounding it up 176, which is exactly the same as what the all day is showing for the week. So I'm guessing, and I am purely guessing here, that there's some anomaly on how the app is recording the daily cutover between peak and off peak. And the reason I say that is because when I go into customize advanced time-based control cost saving and looking editing the pricing schedule, how I had mine set up till about two hours ago was I had two um, scales in there. So I had the off peak in blue, which was from 12.30 at night through to 4.30 in the morning. And then I had the peak in a sort of yellow, I think it's yellow, which was from 4.30 4 in the morning through to 12.30. And I think that half an hour might be confusing the power wall because it's sort of 24 and a half hours in terms of how that's worked out. So to test out my theory, what I've done is I've gone in and edited it and brought in a shoulder period between midnight and 12.30. So I've effectively got three rates there now. So I'm interested to see how that works out, whether that n sort of normalizes the data more or um, makes it even worse. <laughs> so I shall find out, let it run a couple of days and, and uh, report back. So if you have that same setup, so if you're on time-based control, if you're on cost-saving mode, and you're looking and recording your daily stats. Are yours the same? Is your setup the same as me? Um, in terms of if you're on the Octopus Go tariff, um, you should be. So uh, those that there are, be really interested to, to hear your stats. So yeah, drop down below in the comments how you're getting on. Yeah, to sort of gather a bit more data really. I've raised it with Tesla and I've raised it with my solar installer so they're aware of it. It's one of those things that's quite difficult to, to demonstrate. So I thought, I said to them, I'll do a, a YouTube video on it so you can see the data and um, you know pick it up from there, which may help to explain it better than trying to do it via email and screenshots because it's all fairly static. And also, as I said, I'll gather feedback from other people. So, as I say, if you have the same problem, then please do comment down below because that just helps highlight the problem, but also fix the problem. And I do know that there are other people who are experiencing the same sort of spurious data sets around that day peak and off peak. So, yeah. Okay, that's it. That's all I wanted to chat about and demonstrate. So I hope you found that um, a useful if you're in the same setup as me and has highlighted something for you um, or at least saying oh my god that's not just me there are other people in the same situation and um, a bit of a sharing and caring <laughs> all right i shall see you on the next one all right take care bye